Obviously, a lot of the things we do, it is down to our mindset and our ability to keep going. That's just basically it. And if you have the mindset that, you know what, I can be successful regardless of the situation I'm in. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be tough, but I can do it. Then I see no reason why. And what is education? Now, a lot of people think education is just going to school, going to college. No, there are different types of education. There's formal, there's non-formal, there's informal, and there is one more, I forgot. Now, with formal education, formal education is going to school, college, um, university, those are formal. Non-formal education could be things such as, actually, let me look for it. And let me, let me not tell you the incorrect thing. Let me look for it. Give me a second, because I know this very well. Okay, so as I was saying, there are different types of education. So on the here, first of all, it says education is the passage to progress. That's it. And like I said, ed for me, education will not make you successful, but it will give you the tools to allow you to be successful. But it depends on how you apply those tools. That will determine whether you've really taken what you've learned or you haven't taken what you've learned. That's number one. And like I was saying as well, there are different types of education. There's formal, informal, and non-formal education. So it says formal education or formal learning usually take place in the premises of the school where a person learns basic and academic or trade skill. So like I was saying, formal education is like going to university, college, or school. Those are formal education. Informal education may be a parent teaching a child how to prepare a meal or ride a bicycle. So informal education is basically you learning things from your friends, from your family, from people just around you. And they said the first education basically is the one you get from home. So those are informal education. And the final one, which is non-formal education. Non-formal education includes adults, basic education, adult literacy or school equivalent preparation. Non-formal education, someone who is not in school. So non-formal education is basically when you go to things such as seminars, events, where you're still doing learning. So you're basically not in school, but you're learning from outside. So these are three types of education. So for me, just because you didn't go to school does not mean you can't receive an education. Education is constant learning. You learn every day. I learned how to obviously make videos on YouTube. That's a learning. I didn't learn that from school. I learned that from watching YouTube videos. I learned that from practicing. So that's a learning. I talk to people. I spoke to people. I watch other people's videos. That's all learning. So when you take all these learning, like I said, no matter which learning you do, these are just tools for you to help you succeed. When it comes to being successful as well, that is very different for different people. To a lot of people, I am very successful because of a lot of things I've achieved, because of the way I carry myself, because of how I am. People say I'm very successful. On one level, yeah, sometimes I do feel like I'm very successful. Depending on where I've come from, how far I've been, yes, of course. But also, on another level, I don't think I am that successful because I have the ability to do more. So success for different people means different things. And it depends. You have to define what success means to you. If last year you were earning 24000 this year you're earning 40000 to some people that's successful. To others, that's not successful because maybe they've earned 60000 and they think, oh, what's 40000 so for me, success is different for different people. So and you have to define what success means to you. So like I said, it's your boy, Mr. CV. I'm back again on Wilder on Wednesday. Stay tuned. We've got more scenarios for you. Also, if you have any problems that you want me to give my thoughts on, or you like just what I do, drop it in the comment section. Or just send me an email on my email in the description and definitely I can give my thoughts and opinion and how I truly feel because a lot of the time people don't want to hear the honest truth. People just want to hear certain things just because to feed their ego and I don't think that's what I stand for. I'm a person that stands for the truth. I'm a person that try and be as objective as possible. So it's your boy Mr. CV. Let me not take your time. Have a fantastic day and take care.